The Windows subsystem for Linux, WSL, is a feature of the Windows operating system that enables you to run a Linux file system, along with Linux command line tools and GUI apps, directly on Windows alongside your traditional Windows desktop and apps. Hello everyone, welcome you all to a new video. In this video, we are going to learn about WSL, and also we are going to install Kali Linux on the WSL on my Windows system. Before getting started make sure you have subscribed to my YouTube channel. If you have not yet done, then click the subscribe button now. And also press the bell icon to stay updated when I upload my new video. If you have any queries on WSL, then visit this site and read the documentation. Before we proceed with installation we have to check whether our system meets the requirement or not. Your system must be running Windows 10 version 2004 and higher, build 19041 and higher, or Windows 11. To check your Windows version in the build number, select Windows logo key plus R, and type Windver, select OK. Here you see my Windows version in the build number. It means my system meets the requirement. If your system does not meet the requirement then you can update to the latest Windows version from Windows Update and check for updates. First of you have to enable the Windows subsystem for Linux, just searching for turn Windows features on or off. From here search for the Windows subsystem for Linux and enable it, and also enable the virtualization. After completion, you have to restart your computer. Now, run PowerShell as an administrator and check whether WSL is installed or not. Here you can see it works fine. Now set it to the latest version using WSL set default version 2. Here you can see the operation completed successfully. Now, the next thing is to download the Linux distribution from the Microsoft Store. You can check the available distribution by using this command. As I mentioned I am going to install the Kali version. So search for it. Here click on install to start the process. It will take time to complete the process. Here it is successfully installed. Now launch it. Oh! I got an error. Actually, I forgot to update the kernel. So to do it let's see the process. Visit this site. I will provide this link in my description box. From here you have to download the Linux kernel by clicking here. Now install it by following the process. Now I think there is no error. Okay, let's launch Kali Linux. Here you can see everything is fine. Now, set the username and password for the Linux subsystem. Let's check the version. Here you see the version is 2021.3. Let me update the source.list file by using a nano text editor. Change the HTTP to HTTPS and save it using Ctrl plus X and Y, and then hit enter. Now update the repositories by using apt-get update. If you want to work with its GUI version, then you need to download two tools. One is desktop environment that is XFC and the other is remote desktop protocol. Install them one by one. Install XFCE by using apt-get install hyphen Ykali desktop XFCE. It will take at least 30 to 40 minutes to complete the installation process.
Once it is installed then install the RDP by using XRDP. Now start the XRDP service using service XRDP start. Now run remote desktop connection application from searching. Put the IP address here. Now click connect. Here put the username and password. Now you can see here the GUI version. If you have any doubts and queries write me below in my comment section.